an SUV right out of the 80s. Did you know that sea snails have teeth and they can be used to help make better See, solar it's panels? it's not that easy, is it? It's backwards. An SUV that's right out of the 80s. Did you know sea snails have teeth and they can help make a better solar panel? And a way to make 3D printers more sustainable on this week's Green Tech Weekly! <laughs> Welcome back to show number 60. Man, I look good for 60. What about me? Meh. Oh, thanks. Let's get on to the tech. Okay. In our first story, we already saw the Tesla Model X SUV a while back with its retro-futuristic Falcon Wing doors. But at the recent Detroit Auto Show, they showed it off a lot more. The 2014 model will have a really awesome 17-inch multifunction display. It will be used to do just about everything in the car from climate control to radio and even surf the web. Expect it out later this year. And Tesla, if you're listening, I would be glad to test one for a few years. I will promise to tell everyone about it and talk about it on the show all the time. Me too. Me too. We're sellouts. Yes. Yes, we are. For our second story, we're going to go on the weird side of science. You can say that again. The resident smart people at the University of California, Riverside, have started looking for a better and cheaper nanomaterial. They found the teeth of a marine snail, or more importantly, the way the teeth form, will make the nanomaterial better by improving performance of solar cells and lithium-ion batteries. But it didn't stop there. They discovered higher performance materials for things like airplane frames and cars. It also is helping develop abrasion resistant materials that can be used in dental gels and even clothing. That's super awesome, great, and slimy. I think they got rid of the slimy part first. You'd think. I hope. In our last story, we talk about something that we here at Green Tech Weekly like to do. Scott and I are part of a budding makerspace. In fact, Scott is our founding member. Yep, I'm the CMO. What's that stand for? Chief Maker Officer. Oh, I see. Good title. Why didn't I think of that? You did. See, it's right here in the script you wrote. Oh, well, it's still a good title. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Our group is called Take3.NWA, and as makers, we, of course, all love a 3D printer. Really smart green maker and American college student Tyler McNanny came up with the Filibot. It takes scrap plastic and turns it into the filament we need to print the future. It can make 3.0 or 1.75 millimeter diameter using almost any household plastic. Milk jugs? Yep. So soda bottles? Yep. In fact, a single two liter bottle can make 50 grams of filament. That's about 250 worth. Can it melt down my failed prints? Yes. Oh, I so want one of these. The bot starts by grinding the plastic and then heating it. The next step is to feed it into the extruder where it is cooled and then wound into a spool. Uh, thanks to all the Kickstarters that funded this awesome project. If you are one of the lucky ones to get through one through Kickstarter... You lucky dogs, you. You should see yours soon, but the rest of us, there's no set date or price. But the lowest pledge... To get one was around 500 bucks, so I would hope they keep that price point when they sell it to the rest of us. I'll start saving now. That's another show. If you want to help us out, pick up one of our shirts at the Zazzle store. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for all the tech that didn't make it on the show, or let us know about things you want to see here. And as always, remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green. Well, that was pretty impressive. Was it? I mean, you, we didn't make any mistakes. Uh, we made a couple little stumbles, well, but yeah. no mistakes. It was, you normally, I mean, it's it's a long one. And it was a long one. There's some big words, and but it didn't. we didn't have to go through and re read them more than once. Are you saying I can't read big words? Yes. I admit it. I can't read big words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only saying it because it's true. It's true. And you've admitted it before. Yes.